Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to more Need to Know News. Uh, so, first thing is that Microsoft has said that Xbox One is, uh, the Azure servers are available to any outsourcing third party, including PlayStation 4 and Sony. Um, ever since that Titanfall came out on the Xbox One, people have assumed that's only for Xbox One and Windows, um, but Phil Spencer has said that it's not, and you can expect uh, more things happening with Azure servers coming into Titanfall 2, but he can't talk about anything else other than announcing um, that Titanfall 2 will be using um, a lot of the Azure servers. Uh, next thing I talk about is that Star Wars 7 breaks Thursday night movie opening record with $57 million being made. They also estimate that uh, $225 million by the end of this weekend, which, you know, it's Monday, so they're still tallying up everything. Uh, $225 million is going to be made uh, breaking Jurassic World's record, which was $208.4 million in its first weekend. Um, also... Uh, the last Thursday night opening was held, uh, the record was held by Harry Potter um, and the Deathly Hallows, and that was $43.5 million, so it has already broken that with $57 million. Uh, a lot of people have already liked this movie, saying that it's the best movie of the year. Um, so, And then also in the UK, uh, $14.1 million was made, um, which is also a huge record for them. Uh, on to The Division, a game that has been talked about, you've seen uh, commercials on TV and everything about uh, with Tom Clancy uh, making the game. Uh, there is video footage of the alpha uh, on a NeoGAF thread. It uh, showcases you know the whole entire game of the alpha build from the Xbox One. Um, they actually, people that got invited to uh, play this game early in the alpha, had to sign a non-disclosure agreement saying that they cannot make videos and put them on the internet or anything like that and they just, you know, avoided that so you can expect these videos to go away pretty soon. Uh, if not already gone, you can go check them out uh, just by clicking the link which I will link down in the description. Um, the Division launches on March 8, 2016 for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One if you guys are curious. Um, we got this early uh, video access from E3 when we first saw the game, and it looked pretty sick. Uh, something a little bit differently, kind of like a third-person shooter. Uh, Gears of War without the uh, gears, you know, without chainsaw and all that stuff. So it looks pretty cool. Um, so other than that, you can also expect a beta coming out sometime before the game launches, which will probably be in February. Uh, next thing I talk about is a new cartridge-based console is coming out next year. It is called the uh, Cale I don't know how to pronounce this Coleco um, Chameleon, and it is just basically bringing back you know the fun of you know classic gameplay without the DLC, without the microtransactions, without the greedy um, publishers and developers just taking all your money. You know, like three for three Industries, Activision. Um, you know, Blizzard, you can put Blizzard in there. Um, it's going to be able to run 8, 16, and 32-bit games. Um, and uh, Coleco says that it is a growing and popular genre. Um, and they, this, the idea behind this is basically to, you know, rid, get rid of the DLC microtransaction kind of, you know, consoles that we have today and developers. And they just want to get that experience, you know, where you can plug in your cartridge of uh, Super Mario or Donkey Kong Adventure or whatever and um, play without worrying about having to buy anything so uh, now any idea of when it's going to be coming out they don't have a date yet but it will be at the toy fair in new york in february um, just as a showcase uh, so people can demo it um, and we haven't had something like this being made since uh, 1982 um, which was uh, well the first well the first clock of vision console was released in 1982 um, but by like two decades, we haven't had anything like this with cartridges, uh, you know, with Nintendo 64. Um, and uh, I think the Sega Genesis too. I had the I had the Sega Genesis, but I had I didn't I didn't have a card. I'm not I'm trying to remember if it had cartridge. It was if it was a cartridge console or not, because I had this thing where um, the ISP that I had was uh, hooked up to the console, and they provided games for the consoles that I had. Uh, which was a Sega Genesis, so I'm not sure if I remember correctly if it was a cartridge console. I didn't have any cartridges, but my neighbor had a Nintendo 64, and I know that was a cartridge console. Um, so, I don't remember, but anyways, moving on. Uh, Batman Arkham Knight December DLC is going to be released uh, on the 22nd in two days. 
Um, and it's, you know, releases new footage revealed, and also um, there's new skins for the Batmobile, there's new skins for, um, you know, Batman himself. Um, also, uh, the skin is from Nolan's 2008 uh, The Dark Knight movie. There's also a video here showcasing it. Um, also, they did say that uh, this might be Rocksteady's last uh, Batman game being made, but it's not 100% uh, set in stone. Uh, there's also a you know picture here showcasing all the skins and everything, so that will be down in the description below. Um, it comes out on PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. I'm not sure if this is going to be the last DLC in it, since they're all already thinking that this might be a goodbye to the uh, Dark Knight. Uh, Arkham Knight, uh, Batman, you know, uh, game, franchise, whatever you want to call it. So, um, it's not 100% set in stone, but they're thinking about being, you know, done with it, getting rid of it, and making something else. Uh, moving on to something that probably every gamer, including myself, is excited about. Um, new Kingdom Hearts 3 gameplay was shown in a new trailer. Also, uh, Square Enix has released a new uh, trailer that shows Kingdom Hearts uh, High Definition 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue along with Kingdom Hearts 3, uh, so you can check that out in the description below. Um, Kingdom Hearts 2.8 was first announced in September. Uh, also, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 was announced in 2013, if you guys didn't know. Um, this is obviously... Uh, going to be a PlayStation 4 game, but it has been rumored that it is going to be on the Xbox One as well. Um, and there is no release date, but you know there is a rumor going on that it is on the Xbox One. If it is, I will definitely be buying and streaming the shit of it. Um, but the 2.8 is going to be a PS4 2016 exclusive only. Um, so that's about it. Uh, also, I don't know if you guys care, but... Um, the Chargers are probably going to go to Los Angeles, which is pretty sad since I live in San Diego. Um, so, uh, if you guys didn't know, St. Louis Rams and the Oakland Raiders were also uh, rumored to be going there as well. And the 32 team owners in the NFL um, talked about it, and it has not been confirmed yet, but it is leaning more towards the San Diego Chargers going, which I'm not too sure why that is, since... A news reporter went to Los Angeles, and every person that he asked said that they don't want the Chargers coming to Los Angeles. Uh, most of them don't even watch football, believe it or not. Most of them, um, you know, just go to the beach and surf and stuff like that. He talked to probably, um, I don't know, I want to say 100, close to 100, and like 99% of them said they don't even watch football, they don't care about football, they don't even want a team. You know, they have baseball, and some of them don't even watch baseball, even though they have the Los Angeles uh, Dodgers there. But anyways, guys, I'm going off track here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be coming out with more videos uh, soon. Uh, another thing I wanted to say is last night I had a one point... 343 Industries is just so confusing. The system that they made with the ranking system and how they do the numbers uh, with the statistics, it just makes no sense to me. I mean, uh, last night, you know, if you guys didn't know, the uh, January 2016 season started for the Halo 5 ranking system, and I tried to get my Onyx last night in Team Arena, which I did. I don't think I deserve it, though, since I only had a 1.0 KD with, like, 80 kills and 90 deaths, which is actually a .9 um, KD, so I'm not too sure how they do their statistics or anything like that, but I think their math is a little bit off there. Um... Even, I mean, unless they add the assistant too, but then that would be a typo since it says KD and not KDA, which um, would be kill, death, assist, which is what they should say. But anyways, it was kind of funny because I went negative like every single game. I haven't played Halo in a while, so, you know, I, cause I kind of was sucking, but I mean, I was doing good uh, at the same time, you know. Um, just going in by yourselves. I matched against so ten games. You have to qualify uh, playing ten games, and then they accumulate your. You know, I don't know what they accumulate to be honest with you, because I have no idea how I got Onyx ranked. I'm a Onyx like fifteen eighty eight, uh, which makes no sense. I, I I was surprised. I would be surprised if I um, got into platinum because of you know the statistics and everything. But they put me in Onyx. I really don't know. Um, how the hell that happened, but it just, you know, reassures me that this ranking system is broken, Halo 5 is broken and everything. Um, but I got Onyx, so, you know, it is what it is. Uh, anyways, guys, I've been around long enough. Uh, I'll catch you guys later, and I'll probably be streaming today for a little bit, so, you know, don't forget to check out twitch.tv slash 7 Emperistic. It'll be down in the description below. 
Um, if you guys didn't know, uh, Orbit is going to be moving over to Twitch from MLG. So you can expect me streaming on um, twitch.tv slash OrbitGG and also my channel. So no more MLG, MLG.tv just it's not good at all compared to Twitch. It lags my computer. I can only stream for like two hours on MMG.tv uh, slash Orbit uh, GG just because it just lags my computer up so much. And I can stream on Twitch for like 24 hours straight and my computer will run smooth as like a baby's ass. So, um, you know, it is what it is. But I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.